Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Jay and welcome to the channel and welcome back to Everset Point in Planet Zoo where today we're going to be continuing with our build for the animals in the new Wetlands DLC. Today of course going with, you know, my personal favourite. I say my personal favourite, they're all really great animals but really nothing can really come close to the capybara. The capybara is quite possibly one of my favourite mammals of all time. Like, really that, there isn't much to beat it it's just such an amazing animal it's adorable it's absolutely like the chillest animal you can imagine it's so interesting as a species it's of course uh you know water dweller kind of to some extent and it is the largest rodent on the planet this super cool animal and very glad to be building a habitat for it and as i was building i'm thinking this might not be the only habitat I actually do for the capybara in Avaset Point. I might do multiple where um, I just have capybaras as kind of additional animals in different habitats because in zoos, and you might have known this from seeing them in zoos or from some of the information frontiers posted on their social media pages, or you know from previous zoo games or anything like that, but capybaras are really really tolerable of most other animal species well not most other but you know good range like you'll see them in all sorts of habitat you might have seen there's some pictures online of them being in giraffe habitat habitat with tapir habitat with tortoises habitat with you know just antelopes deer all sorts of animals um they just they deal with them so well they've even been seen you know just cohabitating pretty reasonably with caiman as well like small caiman um, and it's just like, you know, they're just so chill and that's just such a cool thing. I love how just amazingly friendly these guys are. It, it is just so interesting to see. Um, they just don't seem to have a worry in the world. That's not to say they get on with everyone. In their natural habitat in South America, they're actually, you know, a very common prey animal for a lot of different species, including um, larger crocodilians, anacondas, anacondas uh, actually predate on ca uh, capybara like preferentially because they are a really good size uh, meal for them. Um, you have jaguars, uh, you know, large birds of prey even. Like cap capybaras, unfortunately, due to their quite placid nature, make uh, a pretty reasonable snack for a lot of animals in the Amazon or, you know, just across the areas in which they live in. They live in most of South America, actually. Like a really, really big chunk of South America. Um, but yeah, they're just super cool animals. And um, something I found out recently, actually, is that they used to, there used to be a lot more species of capybara, and they used to be more even up to North America, which was really uh, interesting, like, in the Pleistocene period. So that's pretty cool, I think. Gosh, I really hope I get to one day, like, hang out with a capybara. That's something I really, really want to do. Uh, if I can get a zoo experience where I can hang out with a capybara, my, like, life will be made. That would be so cool. <laughs> so maybe one day, you know? And if I do, I'll definitely vlog it and, like, put it on the channel. Because that'll be super fun. But yeah, let's talk a little bit about the habitat itself. Pretty chill habitat today. I had a few goes at it. Wasn't feeling many of the options. And then I tried, um... What do we see on screen here, which is a bit more of a simple habitat. Uh, there's a little bit of a water feature there, a pond with a little artificial waterfall there. Uh, some some full rocks, some real rocks mixed in. And a reasonable amount of space to swim and also a decent amount of land space. I wanted to uh, give them a mixed habitat as well, I didn't want them to just be alone. So I put in some Galapagos tortoises. They uh, cohabit pretty well. Tortoises, I thought, you know. As far as chill animals go, a tortoise would fit in pretty well. They also are reasonable to cohabit with other animals sometimes. Um, and the Galapagos tortoise and the capybara just look like they fit really, really well together. So I was, I was very happy to include them as well. Uh, I in initially thought maybe I'd include the bear's tapir. Um, but I, when I put them in, I thought it didn't look super like... Okay, this is a weird thing to talk about because like when you're looking at a habitat, you want there to be a variety in the shapes you're looking at in the um, in the habitat itself. For example, that's why you use bushes and tall trees in different arrangements. It's a bit hard to explain, but that's kind of what I felt was a bit missing when I used the uh, Barrett's Tapir, in the sense that uh, they both are of a similar size, the Barrett's Tapir being a bit bigger, and of a similar body plan. So it felt a bit kind of homogenous. 
and that's a really weird thing to consider when you're building a habitat but I thought you know what let's just put in slightly more different animals so there's more to look at there's more interesting behaviors you might be on um, that might be on show so I put in the tortoises instead and I think it worked out pretty well they look they look pretty uh, nice I like how the habitat looks you may notice as well in both of the wetlands habitats we've done so far I've made the water a little bit dirtier and that's just to reflect kind of the more wetlandy kind of water where there'll be a lot of silt in the water and we look disturbed quite regularly by animals going in and out having a swim something that works uh, just putting in a shelter here a simple shelter very much similar to what we did before but I'll put in some walls to make it a bit more secure some simple bamboo fencing along the back as well which I think looks pretty uh, pretty nice just quite straightforward and we'll use some actual bamboo as well in a bit to really um, give some height to the habitat in the back and kind of create a bit more of a natural boundary where you wouldn't just be looking over into like whatever's behind this habitat it'll give you a bit more of a solid backdrop so that you wouldn't you know you it frames the habitat pretty nicely I think essentially loving these new um hot water tap enrichment I think it looks super cute when the capybaras are sitting underneath it and you'll see it um in the cinematics today as well they look so 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 cute when they're sitting underneath it some little water fountains as well lots of little water features for this habitat um but yeah the wetland trail is coming along pretty nicely I think for the next episode we might do um the the cranes I think the cranes look pretty cool if I'm not mistaken um one of my local zoos actually has has a pair of these uh, the red crown. Oh, it might not be the red crown crane. It might be a different crane, actually. No, it's a different crane. It's the I can't remember what they're called, but it's the cranes with the um, with the you know the kind of like a crown on their head. Not like the red crown crane, but um, more of like a poofy crown that kind of sticks out in like a ball almost. Can't remember what they're called, but they, they're really cool as well. Putting in some boards into the into the um, pond so they have something to sit on. And you saw I just put in some planks for where the keeper would come in and just some planks lying around. Do indicate that maybe the uh, you know this little bits that need repair and stuff like that you know just bring up it brings a bit more life into the habitat, which I, I'm quite glad for. But yeah, that that's pretty much it for building this habitat. Now it's just the foliage time. Uh, I'll be hopefully putting up more episodes in the coming week or so. Um, yeah, it's it's been really nice now in the UK. It's it's all super sunny at the moment and. I'm just trying to spend more time outside because it's beautiful and it's like it's the time of year where it's so nice outside that I feel kind of guilty about staying indoors so trying to get out more definitely if it's nice where you are it's always nice to just be outside for a bit and get a bit of sun so that's how things are in the real world at the moment so looking forward to that uh, as, far as, the, as far as the other videos on the channel go I am hopefully getting back into some Jurassic World Evolution 2 as well soon uh, very soon, um, Prehistoric Kingdom is coming out and I'm very very excited for that, we're going to be playing it on the channel for sure because I did skip the beta release for Prehistoric Kingdom. Uh, I did have access to it but I just thought, you know, like, I, I kind of fell into playing these other games for quite a bit at the time, didn't have time for PK unfortunately, and then I thought, it's a bit late now, let's just wait for the full uh, early access release and then we can play, and while I'm playing that, you at home you'll have access to the game too so if you want to like build along with me you'll have that opportunity as well so do look forward to that that'll be quite fun i think using some of the cork oak trees here i still really like how they look i really like the new trees but um the color of them is a bit too like different from some of these other trees as you can see back there the i think they're called tupelo trees i keep forgetting they the color is a bit too different where it makes it look a bit um yeah, it just doesn't fit necessarily with how the rest of the the uh, foliage and the habitat looks. So I, I end up trying to stay away from that a little bit. Yeah, I'm just uh, roofing up this uh, staff building really quick. It's um nothing too fancy here. We're pretty much coming up to the end now. I hope you've all enjoyed this episode. Uh, do let me know what else you want to see in the coming weeks with Avaset Point. Um, I think I'll do a couple habitats in October Lake for some of these animals. There's only... Like, I think I only have space for maybe one or two more habitats in October Lake, so we'll see which ones make it there and which ones stay in Aversat Point. Of course, we can also double up on some of these animal habitats if we want. There's no, like, rule saying we can't do that at all. So, yeah, I uh, look forward to that. 
With that all being said, thanks so much for watching. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this week's build. Uh, leave suggestions for what you want to see in my future builds. Uh, do have a lovely week. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.